Folks, welcome back to another fun-filled day on Nostalgenomics. Today, we're going to talk about five basic buying strategies you can use to save you money today. Now, it doesn't matter if you're buying things for your collection or possibly for investment style purposes, these strategies will work for you and save you money as you build your Pokemon collection or investment. Now, before I get into this, I want to say I'm not an investment professional, I'm not a tax advisor, so please make sure you consult with professionals before making any decisions. This is for entertainment purposes only. I also want to say I have been getting beat up pretty bad in the comment sections about things I'm missing or uh, things I should have showed differently. And so today I want to say, trying to cover all my bases, every seller and every product in this video is just for an example purpose only. I'm not pushing any of these products. Um, all of these strategies uh, can work for you. It just takes searching around and looking between different items. They don't work on every item. They work better than, than others on other items. Um, and uh, with all that being said, let's jump into this video. So first thing we're going to look at is a sword and shield base set booster box. All right. The first thing you're going to want to look at is the first strategy is when you type in things into the search results, it greatly changes the results that it spits out. Let me show you what I mean. If you type in sword and shield base set booster box, all right, you're going to get spit out 217 results. Okay. And if you scroll down, the lowest booster box is going to show you is $220 at 1540 shipping. So if you didn't search anything else, you would think, wow, there's not many available. I guess I'll pay the $235 for this. But if you would have searched a little differently, let's say sword shield base set booster box, take out the and. Well, it's going to make the results a lot more broad because obviously there's less words, but also it's going to add other booster boxes in. Let me show you what I mean. It actually brings the lowest one all the way down to $214.99. So just by taking an, a word and out, you saved yourself $35 or sorry, not $35, $20 by just, just taking a word out look, and looking for the different way. So you can even check the seller, make sure it's a legitimate seller. Um, this is his card shop live. He's got 110,000 uh, different feedbacks. Uh, he has got 10 available. This is a large trusted seller. You're going to get a quality product. So that's the first method you want to make sure to do. So take a different item. Say you're searching for a celebrations ultra premium collection box. You can search celebrations UPC. You can search celebrations ultra premium collection. You can search celebrations ultra premium collection box, and you're going to get different search results every single time you type one of those different um, entries into the, the toolbar. So just keep that in mind when you're searching around, just taking an extra couple minutes searching for things a couple different ways can actually save you a great deal of money uh, when you're buying things. Okay. Next thing we're going to look at is the celebrations Pikachu V union collection box. Now, this comes into play when you're wanting to buy multiples of a sealed item or multiples of an item, right? So a lot of people gravitate to, towards sealed cases because they feel that's where the best value is, but it's not always that way. Take a look. This is the lowest sealed case on the market of Pikachu V Union collection boxes. You'd be paying $137.99 for a six box case. So you take that information and you say, okay, how much would it cost me to buy six single boxes? Well, go to lowest first on Pikachu V Union collection box, scroll down, you find this listing, it says it's $23.99, but you save 15% if you buy more, so you can buy six, which is a full case. It brings your total down to up around $120 and some change, which is somewhere around, what, $15, $16 less than if you would buy the sealed case. And what you can do is a lot of times you can just message these sellers and say, hey, I'm buying six boxes. Would you mind sending them in a full case, in a sealed case? A lot of times they will. Sometimes they won't. If they won't, you know, don't beat them up over it. Just find someone else selling for around that price that you can do it with. But a lot of times the sellers are pretty, they work with you. I've done it multiple times. They've always worked with me. So it's not that big of a deal for them to do so. So that's the other thing. Um, if you're buying multiple, if you're trying to buy cases, there's way to get um, into the products a lot cheaper. Um, in, in this scenario, it was only about $15. But in other scenarios, I've seen you be able to save 40 to $50 just by going with these types of promotions where they have percentage off of multiple items other than going with a sealed case and, and you get the same sealed case either way. So it's definitely something you want to look at. Take a little extra time. You can save yourself some money. Next thing I want to look at is if you're trying to buy quantity of an item, uh, you know, you can, you don't always want to take the lowest price listing. Now, if you're just buying one, yeah, obviously you want to search the lowest, make sure that it's, it's a legitimate seller and then buy. So in this case, a darkness of blaze ETB, um, the lowest ones on here are $35.90, $35.95. Um, you would click to make sure they're legitimate, trusted sellers. 
And uh, if you're buying one, that's the best way to go. But if you're wanting to buy multiple, say you're wanting to buy, you know, four or five, well, what you want to do is always look up a little bit and see if there's any promotions going on with any of the higher price ones. Here's one for 5%. Here's another for 10%. So what you're going to want to do is click on that and see what it would cost for those four or five. Now, again, in this case, it's a little different. It's only about a dollar fifty difference, so nothing crazy. But still, in the in other items, I've seen it a lot different. So I've seen you be able to save like four to five dollars in items sometimes. So you know, if you're wanting to buy a, you know a quantity, sometimes people go to the, the lowest possible listing and they'll just load up that one and buy them. But it actually pays to go look and see if there's other percent off promotions going on where you can buy that same quantity and get the products for a lot less. I just found these these examples quickly, but uh, if you want to do some digging and items that you're actually looking for, you, you probably will be able to find a lot better deals than maybe $1.50 off per box. So that's the third strategy you want to pay attention for in the future. The, the fourth strategy is always search sellers other items um, for, for other items that you are interested in. So let's say you're trying to complete a first edition jungle PSA 9 set of the hollows, right? So let's use pick any of them, any of the any of the hollows, and start out with that one. All right. So I pick Vaporeon. What you're going to want to do is scroll down and find the lowest possible listing for a PSA 9 Vaporeon. This looks like the lowest one in the market. We're going to click that. You're going to make sure it's a trusted seller, which this is, and then you're going to want to check that seller's other listings. Okay. So go ahead and click on him. See what else he's got listed. See if he has other jungle cards that could you have, could help you complete your set that you could get from one person. You scroll down. Look, he's got the Pidgeot. He's got the Scyther, he's got the Vaporeon. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do now to make sure that he doesn't just have one card that's a lot lower than market, but then the rest of his cards are a lot higher and you're not really getting a deal, you're gonna wanna go search, you know, PSA 9 First Edition Jungle Pidgeot. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. First Edition Jungle PSA 9 Pidgeot. And then you're gonna wanna see if he is actually on the low end of the market. So it looks like we have some CGCs, looks like we have a Spanish card, and yep, his is actually the other lowest card on the market. So once you scroll through his cards and you find out that he does have the best prices, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna message these sellers, okay? Don't be afraid to reach out, okay? The worst they can say is no. And if they say no, don't get angry with them, okay? It's, it's their prerogative to sell their items at what price they, they deem valuable enough. So what you're gonna wanna do, message the seller, say, hey, look, I was looking at three, four of your cards. I was wanting to buy them all at once as a package deal. Is there any type of deal you could give me if I were to buy and pay for them all at once? A lot of the times the seller's gonna say, well, yeah, sure, because it allows them to get rid of multiple lines of inventory. It allows them to be able to ship to one person instead of having to ship to three and four different people, and it saves them on shipping. And so a lot of times they will wanna work with you if you wanna buy multiple items from them. So even though it's the cheapest price on eBay already, even though he does not have a best offer option, you can still ask them and a lot of the times they will give you a deal. Now again, if they don't, don't worry about it. Just move on or maybe still buy it because it's the cheapest, but I wanted to give you that option because a lot of times people are afraid to reach out. They're afraid to just message sellers and ask them for deals because you think you're going to make the seller mad or angry, but you know, if the seller gets angry about that, you know, that's their problem as a seller. Um, if they say no and then you get angry, that becomes your problem. You can never get mad at someone for not accepting an offer or a deal, but at the same time, it's always worth an ask. So the last strategy I'm gonna talk about is checking between multiple sites, okay? eBay lowest price is not always the best price. A lot of the times it is on Pokemon product, but it is not always. So what you're gonna wanna do is scroll down. I took Vivid Voltage ETBs, scroll down, find the lowest price on eBay, which is 44.53, and then you just go to Google and check it with, with the rest of the, of the internet. You know, see if there's smaller shops out there or other sites that offer it cheaper. In this case, it looks like TCG Player offers one at $41.99, and that is free shipping. So what you would do, do, like always, check the seller, make sure it's a large seller, trusted seller. Look, Gold Star Seller, 50,000 plus sales. Yeti Gaming's obviously a good seller to buy from. So that, that's another strategy you can use. I know, again, it was only a couple dollars, but I've seen that be kind of astronomical before. I mean, $10, $20 difference on some products just based on which site you buy them from. So it does always pay to check around. So those are the five strategies that can save you money. You know, always check around between different sites, um, you know, when you're searching for products. Always message sellers, try to try to ask them for better offers, try to combine like items if, you, if you're wanting multiple of their items, okay? Don't always take the best price when you're wanting to buy multiples on eBay. Make sure you check other, other listings that may have percent discounts. 
all right? Um, when you are wanting to move into multiple items, make sure you aren't just buying cases because you feel like that's the best value. Sometimes the best value does come in single items that have discounts on them. Um, and then obviously the search results, okay? The search results are huge. Um, this, this is not just for eBay, this is for every single site. When you're searching, make sure you're searching a few different ways because you're gonna get different items pop up each different way. And uh, it's a way to make sure you're getting the best possible price on the item you are searching for. So I hope all these strategies helped you out. I hope I didn't do anything controversial this video to make anyone mad at me about this, but I'm sure I did something, possibly something out there that made someone mad. So uh, if you feel the need, please let me know in the comments. Uh, everyone else, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. My name is Alex. This is Nostalgianomics. Be back here with a new video soon. I'm out.